going to be spending any length of time here in Disneyland Paris, you're going to want to eat. Unfortunately, there are absolutely loads of dining options all over the park, all in the different lands. So we're going to be doing a review of some of our favourite places. The first restaurant we visited was Bella Notte in Fantasyland. This is an Italian restaurant themed after Lady and the Tramp and, as you would expect, it serves a variety of pizza and pasta dishes. That's the first meal done in the Bella Notte and it was very nice. It had a pizza royale a pizza with ham and olives on, uh, some garlic bread, a magnum and some coke, 16 euros each, quite pricey but that's Disney prices but it was very good. Next up is Hakuna Matata, a Lion King themed restaurant in Adventureland. The food is a bit different than your classic quick service options including beef meatballs or yasa chicken with rice and my personal favourite a delicious chicken kebab. We're in Colonel Harty's Pizza Outpost which is right over the edge of Adventureland. This is where we're eating today and the food it's the same as Bella Notte to be fair. Pizza Raya. It's very good. Want to get the same again? One of the things we love most about Colonel Harty's is the jungle decor and the extensive outdoor seating areas where I'm sitting in this video. There's also plenty of seats and theming inside. Chalet de la Marionette in Fantasyland serves hot dogs and chicken and is themed after the 1940 film Pinocchio. Healthier option tonight. Chicken and chips. <laughs> well, the chicken's healthier anyway. From the marionette restaurant in Fantasyland. Mm. The chicken at the marionette, really good. And even better, the dessert, the apple strudel, is excellent. But for the second year on the run, we've been bothered by a wasp, or multiple wasps, so I'll try to eat. That's the worst thing about here, but pretty good overall. Cafe Hyperion in Tomorrowland offers a selection of burgers, including one of the best we've ever had at a theme park, the BB-8 Burger. The BB-8 meal was really good, the burger was excellent, really good quality meat. A nice, I don't know, it's mayonnaise, slightly spicy mayonnaise with rocket salad on it. And also for afterwards, for afters, it was like a shoe bun with sweet raspberry filling. Overall, very good. This is the Fuente del Oro. Well, it used to be a restaurant, but it's now a bar. They've, do, they've done some nice theming on it based on the cocoa film. We'll just have a walk through and show some of the decor. When we visited Disneyland Paris, Fuente del Oro was operating as a bar and we enjoyed a lovely frozen margarita and a snack of churros. However, earlier this month it resumed normal operations as a quick service restaurant and now serves a selection of burritos. The snacks and drinks we had at Fuente del Oro were great, but the reason we loved eating and drinking here so much was the cocoa themed decor. Cheers. Strap on your banjo, we're going to the Cowboy Cookout for lunch. Cowboy Cookout is located in the corner of Frontierland and serves a variety of barbecue dishes including burgers, sausages and ribs. Today I'm having the Sheriff's Platter at the Cowboy Cookout. I'll start with the chip, so it looks complicated. Where we're eating today, it's ideal because three of us have had food from the um, Cowboy Cookout, which is in the corner of Frontierland, just in the corner of Adventureland next door is Colonel Hartis, so one of us is having pasta, so it works out nicely. Well, the sheriff's platter from the Cowboy Cookout was excellent. You got a rib, 
piece of chicken, sausage and chips, all in the lovely barbecue sauce. I'll be honest, I'm not really a ribs person. I think I've had ribs probably two or three times in my life, but that was excellent. And I've still got the pecan pie to come. So, as you can see, there are plenty of options when it comes to quick service dining at Disneyland Park. Our top pick would be Cowboy Cookout. We love the atmosphere of this Frontierland restaurant and the food is excellent, especially the ribs and the pecan pie. Runner up will be Colonel Hearty's. You can't really go wrong with pizza and the amount of seating available and the theming make it a must eat place for us on each trip to Disneyland Paris. Then there's Cafe Hyperion. We were really impressed with the BB-8 burger and as I've already said it's one of the best theme park burgers we have ever had. In fourth position is Hakuna Matata. If you're looking for something a little different than pizza and burgers, this is the place to go. The chicken kebab is really fresh tasting with plenty of salad included and the corn fries add a unique touch. Bella Notte is next on our list. The food here is the same as Colonel Hearty's but the seating space is a bit more limited and the area can get crowded if a parade or cavalcade is going by. Finally at the bottom of our list is Chalet de la Marionette. There's nothing wrong with this restaurant, but we just didn't find as many options on the menu that we wanted to eat. And as I've said earlier in this video, we've been twice now, and the outdoor seating area always seems particularly plagued by wasps. We want to give a special mention to Fuente del Oro. We didn't include this place in our main ranking because we only had snacks there, but the theming's incredible and we can't wait to go back and try those burritos next time. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.